Hey guys, welcome. We're gonna do some active yoga today. And let's begin in a seat. Cow face pose. We're gonna bring the left leg on the bottom, right leg on top, so that our knees are stacked. You can bring the feet out or in, depending on what feels better. Just make sure both sits bones are on the mat. You can hold on to your feet or bring fingertips behind you. Sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. Let's close the eyes and let's take a few deep breaths, becoming present on the mat, letting go of anything that's not serving us in this moment. We're gonna inhale to the count of four through the nose and exhale to the count of eight through the mouth. Let's inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Gently open your eyes. Let's walk the right fingertips out Small bend in that elbow, reach left arm over left ear, open up through the torso, maybe gaze up towards the sky. Take an inhale and exhale. Let's take it over to the left, walk the fingertips out, small bend in that elbow. Right arm reaches over right ear, open the torso, gaze up, deep breath. And come back through center. Let's walk the fingertips forward, resting the chin on your knee. Hold here for three breaths. And let's walk it in. We're gonna replace right leg on the bottom, left leg on top, stack the knees. They might not be perfectly stacked, that's okay. Both sits bones on the mat. We're gonna take it over to the left, bend through that elbow, reach right arm over right ear, gaze up, inhale, exhale. And come on over to the other side, walk those fingertips out, bend through that elbow, left arm over left ear, Gaze up, inhale, and exhale. Come back through center. Let's walk the fingertips forward. Rest the chin on the knee and hold for three breaths. And let's walk it in. Let's stretch that left leg out. Bring the right foot on the inside of that thigh. Sit up tall. Grab that big toe with your peace fingers. Flex through that foot. Reach right arm over right ear. And take a deep breath. And come on up. Let's switch sides. Right leg comes out long left foot on the inside grab that toe with your peace fingers flex the foot left arm over left ear deep breath and come on up let's open up into our middle split don't take it too far just because we're still warming up so just enough so you feel a slight stretch on the insides of your thighs, flex through the feet. You can grab both toes with your peace fingers or your shins and just melt the belly forward. Not so you're feeling any kind of strain. Hold here for three breaths. Nice long spine. And let's slowly roll it up. Bring the right arm out, hook the left arm around it, pull it in towards your chest, 
Look over the right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Left arm comes out. Hook it with that right arm. Pull it in towards your chest. Look over the shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Grab the four fingers on your right hand. Pull them underneath your forearm. And over. Let's take it to the left side. Pull them under. And over. And let's bring our legs in. Let's come into tabletop. Knees come under the hips. Feet are flat. Widen through the fingers. Hands are directly under the shoulders. We're going to turn the hands so fingers are facing us. And we're just going to roll through. Sit back on the heels. Roll through the hands and fingers. Coming back up. Roll through. Roll through. Let's do it one more time. And let's come back to tabletop. Right leg comes out, push back with the heel. And we're gonna do some rainbow kicks. So gently rest your toe on the mat. And we're gonna draw a rainbow with that leg. Keeping the rest of the body nice and still, keeping the core engaged by gently lifting in and up on that belly button. Really using that hamstring to lift and the glute. Adding that breath in. And bring it in. Left leg comes out, push back with the heel. We're on the ball of the foot. Being aware of the core, make sure it's slightly engaged. Gently rest the left toe on the mat and lift with that hamstring and glute adding the breath in keep that core engaged and bring it in we're going to come into gate pose so we're going to turn that left leg towards the left side of the mat Right leg comes out long, left hand is on the mat, open up through that torso, reach right arm over right ear, nice long line from fingertips to toes. Go ahead and flex through that right foot and we're going to bring knee to elbow, stretch it out, knee to elbow, stretch it out. Keep that right leg lifted. Add the breath. And let's take it to the other side. This time, right leg comes towards the right side of the mat. Left leg comes out long. Right hand on the mat. If your knees are bothering you, you can fold your mat over for a little padding. Left arm over left ear. Take an inhale and exhale. Flex through that left foot, lift. Let's bring knee to elbow. Keeping that leg suspended in the air. Add the breath. Come back. We're going to curl the toes and come into our first down dog. Lift those hips to the sky. Take a moment. Bend one knee. Straighten the other. Stretch through those legs and feet. Take a few deep breaths here. And 
and straighten that spine. You might need to bend through the knees a little bit, lifting the heels, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna inhale, right leg high to three-legged dog. We're gonna exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale to three-legged. Exhale, left. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. We're gonna exhale, knee to chest. Step that foot up. Drop down on that back knee. Lift arms overhead. We're gonna inhale, exhale, open it up to the right side of your mat. Sink into that hip. Left hand on the inside of the right foot. Right arm twists to the sky. Curl the toes, lift that kneecap. Gaze up. We're gonna inhale, exhale, drop the knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. We're gonna frame that foot, come into a high plank, and we're gonna come into side plank. Now you can either stack the feet, lift the hips, use your kickstand, or you can drop down the bottom leg and open up that way. So whichever you choose, if your feet are stacked, make sure those hips are lifted. We're gonna inhale, open. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale to open. We're gonna come back to high plank and take it over to the other side. You can use your modifications. Open it up. Inhale. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap the mat. Inhale to open. Exhale, back to your plank. We're gonna take a vinyasa here. Use your knees if you need to modify your chaturanga. Inhale forward. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, down dog. Hold here for three breaths. You can hold your down dog or pedal through your feet. We're gonna inhale the left leg high to three-legged dog. We're gonna exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, right elbow. Sorry, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to chest. Step that foot up, drop it down. We're gonna inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, open up to the left, sink into that hip. Take a deep breath here. Right hand on the inside of the left foot. Left hand, twist open to the sky, gaze up. We're gonna inhale, lift the kneecap. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. We're gonna frame that front foot, hop up on that back leg, come into our high plank. Come over to your side plank, on the right side this time. Use the modifications. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, high plank. 
take it over to the left side this time. Right arm to the sky. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. Inhale, open. Exhale, back to your plank. Let's drop the knees. Bring them as wide as the mat. Big toes touch. Sit back on your heels and either come down to your forearms, neck in line with your spine, or melt chest and forehead all the way to the mat. Relax the shoulder. Take five deep breaths here. Gently lift it up, come back to tabletop. Curl the toes, back to down dog. Hold your down dog for three breaths or pedal through the feet. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. We're gonna exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee, left elbow, crossing it over. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, three-legged. We're gonna exhale, knee to chest, step that foot up, turn and flatten on that back foot. Both hands on the inside of that right foot, push through all four corners of that front foot and the back edge of the back foot. We're gonna cartwheel open to warrior two. Widen your stance if you need. Flip the front palm, reach it forward. We're gonna inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten through that front leg. Cartwheel, right hand to right shin, left hand to the sky, triangle pose. Let's inhale back to reverse triangle. That hand can be on your thigh, your shin, or bound behind your back. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, to triangle. We're gonna turn, frame that front foot, bend through that knee if you need. Turn on the ball of the back foot and step it up. We're gonna place the left hand on the outside of that right foot or the inside if you need. You can also use a block here. And we're gonna open up twist that torso Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. This is actually reverse triangle. I was, what we were doing was extended triangle. <laughs> Let's step it up. What we were doing before was extended triangle. What we just did was reverse triangle. Sorry for the confusion. It gets confusing for me too. Let's melt the belly towards the thighs, coming into forward fold, Utkatasana. Inhale, flat back, hands on the shins, nice long spine from the crown to the tailbone. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly roll it up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on the mat, step both feet back in high plank. Take your vinyasa, use your knees if you need to modify. Inhale, forward. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, into down dog. Hold down dog for three breaths.
Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, cross it over. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, knee to chest, step that foot between those hands. Turn and flatten on the back foot. Press through all four corners of the front foot and the back edge of the back foot. Both hands are on the inside of that left foot. We're gonna cartwheel it open to warrior two. Flip the front palm, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten through that front leg. Extended triangle, inhale. We're gonna exhale to triangle, left hand to left shin, right arm to the sky. Inhale, extended triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, extended. Exhale, triangle. Inhale to extend it. We're gonna exhale, cartwheel it down. Bend through that front leg if you need. Turn on the ball of the back foot. Step it up. That foot is slightly turned out. Front foot is still facing forward. We're gonna come into revolved or reverse triangle. So you can place the hand on the inside of that foot or on the outside, and you can also use a block for either. We're gonna turn the torso, open left arm to the sky. Gaze to the left. Let's inhale and exhale. Slowly frame that front foot. We're gonna bend through that leg and step it up. Forward fold, melt the belly towards the thighs. Inhale, shin, hands on your shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly rise. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. I'm gonna step back just a little bit because I don't have a lot of wall space. <clears throat> but we are gonna come into Tadasana. So all four corners of both feet pressing into the mat. Small micro bend in the knees will give, will make your legs feel a bit more active a little more strong and rooted. Small tuck of the pelvis, open through the ribs, relax through the shoulders, long neck. We're gonna bring hands to heart and bring the weight into the left foot as we bend through the right knee. Grab that toe. Left arm can come out for counterbalance or use a wall. And we're gonna open to the right. Find your focal point. Slowly bring it in front. And let's bend that knee in. Find your tree pose. Place that foot where it's comfortable. Hands to heart. Let's inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna bring that knee forward, flex through the foot. Micro bend in that rooted leg. Come into warrior three with airplane arms. Gaze down and step it up. Shake it up. Let's take it to the other side. Start in Tadasana. Hands to heart. Bring the weight into the right foot. Bend through the left leg. Grab that toe. Right arm can come out for counterbalance or use a wall. Stretch that left leg out to the left. Take a deep breath. Let's bring it in front. Hold for a breath. 
bend that knee in and place your foot in tree pose where it's comfortable, where you have balance. Anywhere but the kneecap, hands to heart. Keep your focus. Let's inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. And exhale. Knee comes forward, flex through that foot. Micro bend in the standing leg. Come into your warrior three with airplane arms, gaze down. Inhale and exhale. Step it up. Shake it out. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive it right down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat, step back. Plank pose. Really lift through that upper back, tuck the pelvis. We're gonna lift the right leg and then the left. If that's too much, just hold your modified plank. Add your breath in. Drop the knees down, swing the legs around, and come into a seat. Ooh, I'm sweating. Hopefully you are too. Let's slowly lay back. Feet flat on the mat, knees in line with the hips. So the entire back is on the mat. Bring your arms into steeple grip or Charlie's Angels fingers. And we're gonna just point to the sky, keep the neck nice and long, and lift just the upper back and lower. Really lift from the core. Add the breath in. Thank you. 
hug it in. Give yourself a little rock back and forth. Let's bring those legs back up. We're going to reach arms overhead, steeple grip, lift upper back. Arms are in line with the ears, keep a nice long neck. We're going to drop the right leg and lift, then the left. Add the breath in. Lay back, hug the knees in, give yourself a little rock. We're going to grab the outsides of both feet, flex the feet facing the sky, and bring the knees towards the mat. Keep the tailbone flat on the mat. So we're not lifting the booty up, we're flattening that tailbone to the mat, and then pressing down gently through the feet. Happy baby. Take a deep breath. Maybe you want to rock side to side. And let's bring feet flat to the mat. Bring the heels as close to the glutes as possible. We're going to come into bridge pose. You can use a block for this if you'd like. Knees stay in line with the hips. Don't let them splay out. Hands down by your side. We're going to lift the pelvis, shimming onto the shoulders. You can interlace your hands underneath you or keep hands flat on the mat or even use them on your upper back. And make sure that those knees are not splaying out. You can also use a block between your thighs to hold the block there to remind you not to splay open in the legs. Take one more breath. We're going to gently release the hands, unshimmy the shoulders, and slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. Let's go ahead and let the legs fall open to the right, and then the left. Windshield wipering the legs. Arms can be out to your side or down by your side. As we take it over to the right, let's cross the right leg over the left. Hold here for a breath. And let's take it over to the left. Cross that bottom leg over the top. Hold for a breath. And unravel. Bring knees together. Let's bring both knees over to the right. You can use that right hand and place it on top of the left thigh. Look over towards that left hand, both shoulder blades on the mat. Hold here for three breaths. And let's take it over to the other side. Knees fall over to the left, right arm comes out. Left hand can be on top of that right thigh. Look over towards that right hand. Hold for three breaths. And come back to center. Let's turn over to our right side and use that hand to help get us into a seat. Come into crisscross at the ankles, sitting up nice and tall. As we finish our practice, we're gonna inhale, reach arms overhead. I want you to think of a few positive words, and as you inhale, repeat those words in your head. As we exhale and release, I want you to think of some words of just not positive, negative words that you wanna work on work on basically that you want to get rid of that you that are not serving you 
And as you exhale, I want you to repeat those words. So we're gonna try something a little different today. Let's take an inhale, reach arms overhead. Hold that breath. And exhale, release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Hold the breath. And release. hands to heart. Sometimes I can only think of three words, and if that's the case, I just repeat them until I'm done. And it's, I don't know, it's been helping me a lot to really kind of focus on those attributes that I either want or don't, you know? And whatever's not serving me, I'm really trying to like use a clear head and not let emotions get in the way and just do what's best for my peace and my happiness, you know? Anyways, um, please take 10 minutes for your savasana. Just lay down, melt on your mat, breathe nice and slow and controlled. Allow yourself just to turn off your mind, be present and surrender. And I promise you it will make such a difference in your day. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. I appreciate each and every one of you and hopefully I see you back tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. Bye y'all.